Well, it looks like it's time for us to brush up on our Russian. <laughs> looks like Hello Neighbor Alpha 4 takes place in Russia. What? <laughs> Hello everybody, I'm Kindly Kean, and welcome back to Not Hello Neighbor. Uh, this video is a little bit different because we're actually just going over some information that we've gotten in regards to Hello Neighbor Alpha 4. I thought it would be nice to kind of delve into some of this information, see if we can find things that others haven't spotted, and if you have any information that perhaps I missed, I would love to hear it down in the comment section below. But let's jump in to some of these little teasers that Tiny Build has been giving us in regards to Hello Neighbor Alpha 4. So first of all, we've got this gift that they provided to us. Now they said, can you find all the Easter eggs? And they also said that news is coming soon. But looking at this gift, there's a lot of stuff that we can kind of dig out of it. And I think the first thing that I noticed, the first thing that caught my attention was that the game takes place during the day, which is amazing. Uh, it sounds dumb, but if you remember in Hello Neighbor Alpha 3, it was all done in nighttime and it turned out that the game was really, really dark. So it was hard to see things. It was also hard to record stuff and spot things and tell people what you're looking at because once you upload the video up to YouTube, it gets even darker. So <laughs> it caused a few issues here and there. So it's really nice to see that there is a day and night cycle in this version of the game. So now we can actually play the game during the day, which will be really, really nice. It'll be easier to spot things, easier to find secrets, all that fun stuff. So I'm looking forward to the fact that there is a daytime in Hello Neighbor Alpha 4. Now obviously the next thing that you can't resist noticing is that we are carrying what looks to be an umbrella. Now why are we carrying an umbrella? I have no clue whatsoever. What purpose does holding an umbrella have? Now, it, I mean, it could just be a prop, right? It could just be like all the other things that you can kind of pick up. Like, what's the point of being able to pick up the neighbor's shoe or pick up a fedora or a potted plant? So they could just be teasing kind of the fact that there's other items, other objects that you can pick up. But here's something that I was kind of thinking of. In the world of Hello Neighbor, it is kind of a surreal, made up world, right? What if you could use that umbrella to jump and float? You know, like Mary Poppins style? What if you could do something like that? And that could get you access to things that you necessarily wouldn't have access to. Now, I'm not saying you can fly with an umbrella. That would be absolute madness. I mean, technically, Mary Poppins flew with an umbrella, didn't she? So, I mean, maybe. But what I'm saying is that you could float. So, you know, if you got up to a high place and you jumped and then you engage the umbrella or whatever you do with an umbrella when you try to float with it, and then it just kind of glides you down to whatever you're aiming for. So that could be a possibility. Now obviously the next thing that you'll probably notice, if you haven't already noticed, is that we're running on the train tracks. So that clearly shows us that we will have access to the train tracks in the house. Now this house does have a slightly different shape. The train tracks are present in the current version, but you can only stand on them, you can only walk on them in very specific areas, and the shape of them looks a little bit different than what we're seeing here. So we could expect that some of the rooms have moved around, maybe the shape of the house is a little bit different in Alpha 4. I'm interested to see what exactly they've done to kind of make those changes and adjustments in the way the house is laid out and the way the train tracks kind of move through the house, because it's a pretty neat thing. Now if we jump back just a little bit, I'll try to get as best of a shot of this as I possibly can, but as you can see, there are two sets of train tracks. Now these probably are connected and perhaps they're spiraling down the house, but you can see there's actually a cart uh, just below us on the screen there. Now what does that cart actually do? What does it mean? Can we jump into it? You know, that'd be pretty cool if you could ride around on the cart, you know, sneak up on the neighbor or something by riding his weird train cart that's built into his house. It seems like a cool thing. So the, the cart has made a return because there was the train cart in Hello Neighbor Alpha 1. It's made its triumphant return in Alpha 4, but I'm hoping that we can have a little bit more interaction 
with those train carts and actually utilize them to solve puzzles, to get past the neighbor, to get past certain blockades. I think that that's a really, really cool option for traversing the neighbor's house. Now, another thing that I noticed when I was watching this GIF was the trees. The trees look totally different and they look pretty cool. Like they're really embracing this kind of cartoony Dr. Seuss style and I really, really like it. I think those trees fit the aesthetic of the game. They give it kind of like a bubbly cartoony look and I really, really like the look that they're putting in there with the trees. I think that'll be pretty cool. You can also see the neighborhood is pretty expansive here. Now, how much of it we can actually explore is not yet known, but I imagine we will have access to many of these different areas. And I'm gonna try to pause it at just the right time, but if you look off in the distance, you can see what seems to be the grocery store. The infamous golden apple is way the heck out there. Um, now whether or not we can actually go there is yet to be seen, but I really, really hope that you can and that it's actually an explorable area. Now, keep in mind that this is still an alpha. So this is Hello Neighbor Alpha 4. So obviously there's still work to be done. This still requires testing. So this is not the completed game. Now the fact that they're building these kind of sets these, the Golden Apple, the, the hospital, those different places seems to tell us that these could be places that we will explore in the final build of the game. Now, whether or not we'll be able to explore those areas in Alpha 4 and actually have, you know, items inside of them and objects to interact with and puzzles to explore, uh, it, we don't know. We don't know if that's going to be there in Alpha 4, but I hope that it is. I hope that we can just get a little taste of what's to come in the final version of Hello Neighbor through some of those different locations. So that was just about all that I was able to pick up out of the GIF that we're looking at here. But if you guys have any other things that I perhaps missed, let me know in the comment section below because I wanna hear your theories, your ideas of what's going on in this GIF. There is a strong possibility that there are things that I missed, so share them because I wanna know. If this is all we have to know about Hello Neighbor Alpha 4 right now, I wanna know as much as I can from this GIF. <laughs> all right, so we had that awesome GIF to look at, but now we have another image to check out, and this one gives us a little bit more information. Now, obviously, it's not a moving animated GIF, so this is just a still image, but it's still pretty interesting. So obviously the first thing that you're gonna notice is that there's a sign and that that sign is not in English. That is Russian. So does that mean that Hello Neighbor takes place in Russia? That's kind of crazy. That's something that we hadn't even considered. I had always assumed that it took place, you know, in, in like North America, United States or Canada. So the fact that we're in Russia, assuming that this sign is correct, um, is kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. So what exactly does it mean? Well, old ThinkerTube on Twitter had this response to that image. He says, this probably isn't quite right, but it says Bordeaux is the capital of the Churi. What? If you say so. What the heck does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. Bordeaux is the capital of the Churi. Well, Google Translate tried its best. I'm not sure exactly if that's what it's supposed to say, but it's pretty goofy. It does fit in with the theme of Hello Neighbor being weird. Uh, but uh, I mean, that doesn't tell us a whole lot, does it? You guys let me know. If, if you think that there's more to that phrase, that random weird phrase that is on that sign, let me know because I I can't even, Churi, what, is that a city? Is that, Bordeaux is a city, it must be, but is Churi, I, you know, it's, there's a lot of weird stuff going on. But now another thing that this picture tells us is that there is a day and night cycle. So it seems that the time will change and the sun will go down, the moon will come up, night will come, and then the sun will come back. So how long that day and night cycle will be, we don't know, but I still think that that's cool that we have the option to play during the day or play during the night. Not sure if it'll work the same way that it did in Alpha 1. I think in Alpha 1, every time you slept, 
it kind of changed the time of day. Whether or not it works that same way, we don't know, but I like the idea of it actually being a real day-night cycle, actually having a timer associated with it. So if you're making your way through the house and you start your escapades, you know, when it's like mid-afternoon, by the time you're done, it could be nighttime, you know? I think that would be kind of neat to have that change, that dynamic change in the day and time uh, when you're actually exploring the house and going through puzzles and trying to escape the neighbor. Uh, because it could change the gameplay quite a bit. You know, as we know from Alpha 3, a lot of the difficulty came from the fact that you couldn't always see. So, if it's nighttime in Alpha 4, it may be harder. Things might be a little bit trickier because you can't see the neighbor coming after you. I think it's a cool gameplay mechanic, and I'm excited to see how exactly they implement it. Now, another thing that you notice is that there's a whole bunch of garbage. What does that mean? Is this an abandoned neighborhood? Is this area completely devoid of human life? Because I don't think any normal neighborhood would just let trash sit around like that. I mean, that's a lot of garbage. Like, yeah, sure, you might see like a paper bag or something from the grocery store floating down the street. But the fact that they've got this much junk just sitting around in the very front of their, like, their city, their town, uh, doesn't doesn't speak a whole lot to their personal hygiene does it so are the people all gone or Do they just not care? I imagine if the neighbor is the only guy who lives in this neighborhood He certainly doesn't care. He does not care if garbage is laying around. Have you seen his house? Have you seen how many boxes that man has in his house? It's absurd. But regardless, I still feel like there's a lot of great information in these pictures that were provided to us. Now again, I may have missed some stuff. So if you guys spotted anything that I missed, let me know in the comment section below because I feel like there could be a lot more information in this that perhaps I'm overlooking. But anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for this little update on Hello Neighbor Alpha 4. We still don't have a release date, but hopefully soon. The text that goes along with this picture is just soon. That's it. So how soon, we don't know. But hopefully, very, very soon, we will know more about Hello Neighbor Alpha 4, and hopefully we'll have a better understanding of when it's actually going to be released because we have all been waiting for a very long time. It has been four months, Tiny Build. Come on, no, five months. Yeah, it's been five months since we've had a new build of Hello Neighbor. It is time, the time has come. But I appreciate the fact that they've taken the time to really go back and change things and make things better. So we're gonna give them the time that they need. But please, we, we've waited, we've waited. But anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And of course, if you'd like to see more, you can subscribe to my channel. You can just click that link with my logo in it right below this window. But otherwise, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>